Before we move on, let's just talk about these requests we sent between Postman or some kind of client side tier two and over to the REST API. You need to have the full CRUD setup, meaning you have to have a create, a read, an update, a delete. To um, most REST API need that. For you to actually both read data from the database and manipulate it, like you want to create a new guy, you want to update a current already there guy, you want to delete a guy that's already there, and then you want to read all and you want to read a single guy. So you need the full CRUD setup like we talked about earlier. Now in the case of HTTP requests, we have methods that can identify on the REST API what we're actually sending from the, from the client side to the backend side. And the normal ones to use is POST to do a create. So when you do a POST, you'll actually, if I get a POST, post HTTP request, I know that what we're getting is a request to create something. If I get a GET HTTP request, I know I'm getting something I want to read. If I get a PUT, I know I'm going to update something. And if I get a delete, I know I'm going to delete something. So these guys are kind of mapped like this when you send requests back and forth. The reason I just mentioned this is you'll be able to see the same name soon in the Express setup that we're going to build. See you in the next lesson.